and the audio of the recording. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is us. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We've had so many new things that are actually happening on this episode because not only is are we doing video for the first time, which we're very excited about, and how we actually plan to bring that into the next season. So we felt the best way to end the first season is with kind of an intro into the first, se- the second season. Yes. And uh, and this is our last episode for the season, which I'm very excited about, Jesse. Oh my goodness! I mean, a whole year. A whole year. A whole year. And we're still talking, Katie. And we're still. <laughs> And I actually went back and I was, you know, as you know, so we, in this year, we've really kind of expanded who we are on so many levels. Um, And I'm hopefully you guys felt, felt the energy as the year has gone. Right. But one of the things we really got into this year was astrology. Oh my gosh. And so we went, we went back and we were looking at when the, uh, like the astrology of the podcast, because if anything exists, it has a birthday and an astrology chart attached to it. And so one of the things is, uh, we were doing the astro. I was looking at the astrology chart for the podcast and our very first trailer recording was on January 10th of 2023. So it was on one, one, two, three. And I don't know if people are aware of this, but the very last day of this year is one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, so it was just saying we are just into saying all of that. if you're into numerology, <laughs> which I'm sure you have figured out, I really am. Uh, it's it's a huge day. I mean, just because the, the synchronicities of this numbers, we're not supposed to see it again for like another 10,000 years. So the right. fact that we're ending with one, two, three, one, two, three, it's actually it's huge. Yes. But one of the things I also wanted to comment about was that how we started it with the introduction, we kind of gave our background. And with the feng shui, this was the year of seven, which was all about purging. Which FYI, if you didn't know, she is a feng shui practitioner. So aside of the many talents that Katie brings to the table, uh, <laughs> give uh, us the feng shui. So, but it was, it was I, and I feel like this is critical because I think this has been a hard year for almost every single person, at least every person I've spoken with. And the year of seven, and it was the year of the water rabbit. And at the beginning of the year, I talked about that not only when you look at the animal itself, you have to also kind of take account what if it's a prey or if mm-hmm. it's a predator, mm-hmm. right? And the rabbit, unfortunately, is a prey. And then there's a white snowy owl. Um, now, one of the things I think was the most difficult about this year was it was a purging year and it was a water rabbit and so it was very emotional. Yes. It was all about emotional transformation. Oh my yes. Um, from almost like a prey standpoint. Like mm-hmm. I know people, like I was talking to someone the other day and I was joking and I was like, you guys don't get it. I feel like this year and nothing awful or traumatic happened, but just the emotional releasing that was required of me this year of my progressive, my, my journey mm-hmm. is I felt like I had gone 150 miles an hour with my face planted in the gravel, just drug. Right. Right. The entire time. Well, even the collective be yeah. mindful that Katie is speaking of, her personal yes. take, her yeah. personal impact. We know that collectively, yes, there has been a lot of turmoil, and yes. currently, yes, we are yes. recording in December first. Yes. December first. I get talk about. <laughs> yeah, December first. And when she showed up, because we recorded at my house, and when she showed up, I was like, "See, I don't know what it is, but today, yesterday was kind of ugh." But today I woke and I'm like, it's, it's new. Yeah. It's the beginning. Right. And so, and I think we're starting to feel the new energy of right. to, uh, the year of eight, 2024 coming in. Yes. Yes. And in fact, I was telling Katie that energetically, like in November, there was blue light energy oh, that was yeah. coming to throughout three different dates. Mm-hmm. And it was all to actually raise the collective Everybody, regardless of which stage of your awakening you are, it is washing off and it's empowering you to connect to your t- truth, to the knowledge that is within you that before we were completely unaware and maybe we were craving for it, but we were not ready. And now the collective is ready to start integrating that and bring it forward in 2024. Yes. And, and so- I don't know if anybody heard, but as she was talking, the kids downstairs just went to this massive giggle. Yes. So I'm going to say that was spirit confirming what you were saying. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that yes, was confirmation. Yes. I'm going to go yes. there and I'm going to say that was confirmation. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I actually, today, even coming over, so my kids got this, what is it called? The, the gachimo thing? What is it? Oh, the, the not the Yamasaki, but, it, but the little gadget. Some Tamagotchi, those, yes. little ga- those little things you have to keep alive. Yeah. And last night, 
as Katie wasn't feeling so well, we were supposed to meet yesterday to record, and she told me just say today, I even napped. <laughs> I, <laughs> I never nap. nap. She I napped, but never she needed nap, it. But and yeah. the last weekend, the yeah. last four or five days, I've been basically napping all day. Yeah. And gosh, today with the Tamagotchi, we got it last. I got it last night for 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 my mm -hmm. daughters. We had a terrible night because that thing kept going off and whatever. And so I messaged Katie before I'm heading over. Are we still good? And I was already on the road. Come yeah. on my way. Yeah. My text messages yeah. are being just wonky, not, not arriving on time. Yeah. We, we've been having this conversation as well. And our technology's the, been very odd recently. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is why we're wrapping it up now before Mercury Gatorade. <laughs> I love that. Starts term. today. Yeah. And what today? Today it goes went into Capricorn. Isn't it today. 13? Well, it went into Capricorn today. Oh. No, it went okay. into Capricorn today. You see? Anyways, but this is why we're recording today because technologies can actually play wonky. But yes, so as we're as I walk in, she's like, Jesse, I feel amazing. I'm like, I feel amazing too. And mm -hmm. so everything has coordinated. Mm -hmm. Everything has coordinated to actually come here today and share with you all the amazingness so that we can celebrate a whole new year that we all as a collective have achieved. Yes. And yeah. What's absolutely. the topic for this for so, this episode? Sacred energy. Yeah, la, la. right. Let's get into that because when and I'm gonna actually let Jesse define what she thinks because she told me and I was like oh my yes 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 <laughs> and I in no way shape or form want to take credit credit oh. for how she defined sacred energy so you okay. go okay. you go pass the baton <laughs> I'm passing it over I'm passing okay. it over well sacred energy so in our previous episode um we we ended talking about sacred energy and I had to ask Katie can you kind of refresh my memory and as we started talking she's like okay let's just pause and let's go just hit record because you know like the organic conversation yeah. just comes yeah. naturally sacred energy is nothing else than your soul's authentic vibration and that it's why it's so expansive it's so healing it's so enriched it's so contagious because within the love frequency and I'm closing my eyes so I can stay <laughs> yes <laughs> stay yeah touch, um Within the love frequency, you have different expressions, but yeah. authenticity, if you think about it as humanity, we are claiming back our authenticity. Within authenticity, that vibration brings the truth. Truth is the unconditional love. The unconditional love is the true light of all that is. Yeah. And so that's why everything is tied in. We have to pre-rinse, rinse, and if it's still kind of funky, put it back in the washer, put yeah. it on steam, sanitize, do whatever it is that you do. But guess what? Once you put that version of yourself through all those different cycles, which is nothing else but the collective mm -hmm. or us as individual, each one of us are in different cycles. You and maybe... we all know that we've put our laundry in and have forgotten about it uh, and let it sit there for 24 hours. Yes. And then it starts to stink. Mm -hmm. And like, watch it again. You're like, oh, now I have to take the stink off. Yep. Yep. So we, we've all done it. So but we, we are the ones that. responsible because we started we are, the laundry. Yes, we did. We started. It's just nothing else. Like when we start making a task or making a pod mm -hmm. of whatever meal that we're making, we forget yeah. about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it got burned. Maybe yeah. I should just redo it all over again. Yeah. It doesn't matter them on the potatoes. It's not going to absorb the extra salt or yeah. the extra smoky flavor. You know, real quick yeah. about... Can you, can you tell Mama Talk? Right? I, well, I was going to say real quick <laughs> about um, Mercury going into Capricorn. My third guy's a Capricorn. And I have a very special heart for him, place in my heart for him. I have a special place for all of my children, obviously. But in the, I'm a Cancer, and on the Zodiac, the Capricorn is on the exact opposite, right? So basically, his weaknesses are my strengths, and my strengths are his weaknesses. So Which, together, we make a perfect pair. My birthday's the day afterwards. See, so that's now why. we have the yin and yang that's going on here. <laughs> right? It's a Capricorn. But the other, uh, this was, it was Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and I was making pancakes and bacon for dinner because you know we were prepping for thanksgiving and i just wanted something easy and so we had pancakes and bacon for dinner and you know, the first pancake always comes out wonky always always doesn't wonky. matter how much you look at the temperature and how much butter you exactly put, it always and comes i out. thought like i was gonna be fancy and i smashed up some blackberry and raspberries and stuck it in the batter and as i pull off the set so the first one wonky and as i pull off the second and it's like I'm flipping the second pancake and getting ready to pull it off the the Skittle. Um, my third kid, my Capricorn, walks by communication and goes, <laughs> well, at least it's not burnt. And then <laughs> keeps walking. And I was just, I mean, I was just like, oh, 
what? Um, Good try. You know, but, you know, I mean, it's really hard for me not to laugh at him. So I have a special place with Capricorns, especially when they're known to be a little bit on the rough side. I always, I have a little, I, I find them very funny. Yes. I find them very funny, especially, especially when they are and they're like, their dick moves. Yeah. Moves. I find, at least, at least my third kid, I find him very funny. But go on, sorry. No, 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 no. So, so going again on, on authenticity, actually we, she started writing it down. Uh-huh. It's all about the truth. It's all about saying in your true, your true self, your true mm-hmm. self accepts you. It's compassionate. Always. It's loving. It's contagious. It's encouraging. It has all these positive traits that it's are your superpower. It is. It is our superpower because mm-hmm. it is our soul's signature vibration. Yes. And so when we go and tap into it, you are connecting to your own source energy in that instance. And how about, and this is where we're moving forward. 2024, we're starting to walk into it. Yeah. Well, and, and I feel like I'm, I'm like, yeah, well, 2024, it's the year of eight, but real quick, talking about the authenticity, mm-hmm. then I do want to get into the year of eight, mm-hmm. but so I have a teenager. Mm-hmm. Like I have two teenagers. You have one teenager mm-hmm. and, and a preteen and a preteen. But like, so I think expe- especially <laughs> in those age groups, and this is what I think we need to be incredibly conscious about because children, they don't learn from what we say. They don't mm-hmm. learn by what we tell them, but rather they learn by watching their, mm-hmm. their environment and mimicking mm-hmm. that behavior. So if I am not living authentically in myself and who I am, I can't teach my children how to be authentic in who they are, number one. You gotta but, do walk, walk the walk. Exactly, but number two, and I think this is so critical, is we need to, we really as adults need to make sure we are walking our walk mm-hmm. because in those teenage years, which are so fundamental, are the years that you would just want to be accepted and included so badly that you are willing to sacrifice who you are to fit in into whatever external environment or noise because we're pack animals mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because we are we're pack animals and so we we crave that community and that tribe mm-hmm. however we end up sacrificing our authentic self in order to fit in and then next thing you know we become someone we don't even like and and you don't even realize it until you're an adult. Right. And so I think it's, but if we live authentically and then we show our children how to live authentically, like there's a, a song by Pink and I think she says, I can't teach you how to fly, but I can teach you how to live like your life is on the line. And I don't know why, but that always hit a chord to me. Cause it was like, you're right. I can't teach my kids to fly, but my God, am I going to be a role model mm-hmm. for them to be truly who they are I and stand up against, right. And stand up against whatever's coming at yeah. them. And I mean, I, when that song comes on, I mean, I crank it and I sing it. And then it's a part where it's like, even when like everything's crumbling, we are enough. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, uh, so whenever that song one, one, comes one. on. I, one, one, one. See, we as we're recording. And I so, was just waiting. I'm like, in what moment is it going to go one, one, one? I'm like, there. I know, there right? It is. <laughs> and so, but then, and then let's talk about like, and how it kind of comes into the, the next year of 2024. In feng shui, 2024 is the year of eight. Yeah which is the year of abundance and mm-hmm. not just when, and I know when people hear the word abundance, they think of monetary gains. And yes, that is very much mm-hmm. a con- cr- one contributing version. factor. One, yes. one of the many. Yeah. But in feng shui, there's four energies. There's success, which would be your money. Mm-hmm. There is relationships. Um, mm-hmm. There's health. And then there's wisdom. So whatever's higher, that mm-hmm. connection between higher than you. And it's abundance in all of that. Mm-hmm. And I think it's critical. And it's the earth dragon where, where I was saying we were in the, the water, water rabbit where we were, first of all, prey to something so like intense and intelligent right? and like 360 aerial view and like, um, and like living where we live, white snowy owls are yes. all over. And so you see like, Boom. like they can swoop right in and just grab what they want and be gone. And you know, haven't, you didn't even see them come in and grab it. Right. Um, and it was being controlled by the element of water, which is mm-hmm. very emotional mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. earth dragon, the earth it's, it's the pentacles and the tarot. So it's, it's bringing your, it's all about being bold, honest and truth because that's what a dragon is, mm-hmm. but bringing that and making it tangible mm-hmm. in this world and the, in the, the material world. Right. So I'm really excited to see what comes next year. And especially with the sacred energy. Yeah. Well, even the dragons, the dragons also, can she's very knowledgeable. So I'm really excited yes. about this. Yes. So the dragons, they can shift from elemental expressions yes. based on what are your needs. 
And they can be more than one element at a time as so, well. So you mean they can be air and yes. fire? Well, or they, like water and fire? Because you need both yes, yes, to balance. Yes, yes. so you can have all sorts of elements. And mm. even within the water, you can have a, a, what's it called? And I'm seeing ice. I'm seeing mist. I'm seeing thunder, like storm element. I am seeing the water. You can have a water dragon, but it can still tap into the fire dragon and express their fire as if it was an ice. It's it's the 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 dragon, and it, it can also be in the higher realm because it's already an, an air yeah. element, but it also can be in the realm because it's a it's a reptile version, but it's an ascended yeah. reptile version of this very very ancient wisdom. Master, they yes, their master level. Talk of it. Uh, I believe Merlin, the, the the image of Merlin. Merlin can express himself as the wizard, as the magician, as the alchemist, as like a sensei, and as a dragon. And it taps it mm. into all these different versions, and yet it has that dragon energy that comes from within. And within, it's, it's, it's pure wisdom, actually, for me. And it's bravery, it's encouraging, and it's non-BS. The dragon energy, it's straight to the point, and we're bringing it. Why would you go straight to the point with truth? with pure knowledge and it's like okay if you're if you're emotionally off balance that is on you you are responsible yeah. of your emotions and then when you go into the earth the earth gives us nourishment the earth manifests into the physical realm to the yeah. material you have two merging okay i have to get this down because yeah. now i'm on the roll so yeah. you have the dragon on its own being so shape-shifting capable bringing it down also in compression expanding like if it was in astrology with this other yeah. aspecting each other enhancing each other the earth both gaia or yeah. planet earth yeah. papa chamama however you wish to call her yeah have that energy and also the dragon can actually either be female or male energy or provide you both depending on its ascendancy i mean there's so much behind it that it's possible but it's all um, talk about spiritual support. Yeah. But like, well, like even when you were talking about that and it, like, so I have been, and we, I've been telling you about this recently is that in feng shui, there's the 12 zodiacs, just like in mm -hmm. a normal zodiac. Okay. And you, you cycle through the, through the 12 animals and every, every animal has an enemy animal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So every year has an enemy year and like, this year, since it was the year of rabbits, year of rabbits, enemy year was the roosters. And so the roosters kind of had a little bit more difficulty this year than anybody else. Okay. Now, they felt the pressure of this year a little bit more. Now, next year is the year of the dragon, like I said, the earth dragon. And so its enemy is the dog. And the only re and the reason why it's the dog is because, first of all, the, the dragon, it's the dominant mm -hmm, out of mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm, the Chinese mm -hmm, zodiac. I mean, mm -hmm. it, is, it is the top dog it yeah, is the it beast is. it is you want a right? badass you call it a dragon it is the beast yes, right yes. but the thing is out of all the other animals the only other animal that would be willing to challenge a dragon is a dog when it is defending what it loves because the um, the dog is a protector yes because so the dog's a the protector number one but number two i mean think of like we mm -hmm. live in, in alaska you like you you see the videos even if you don't live in Alaska I'm sure you've seen the video of the mm -hmm. big bear coming in the the, the yard mm -hmm. and the little chihuahua thinking it's gonna attack the bear right? Right, right like there's no way the chihuahua could stand to the bear but the thing is same thing there's no way a dog could stand to a dragon however it will go down defending mm -hmm. what it loves mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but the thing and I when you said that and when you're talking about how it can shift elements mm -hmm. so I've been given this vision by my guides mm -hmm. i've been really mm -hmm. sort of guided with it the last couple of weeks um especially since i am a water dog is that since it is the year of eight it's like the eight will turn it's an si infinite it's I an was infinite just sign that a right and, and it's just sense. and it's an infinite sign and so the it center. Is. it's in and so and the thing is that, but in order to keep that thing fluid in motion mm -hmm. you need both energies you mm -hmm. need both sides of the infinite so you need the dragons on one side with the earth and you need the water the dogs all elements of the dogs mm -hmm. on the other side to keep it flowing mm -hmm. and so and because and i think it will keep flowing because the dragon can manipulate its mm -hmm. elements mm -hmm. to harness whatever energy yep. that dog needs to be pulled out of does that make sense yeah so i think this is the one year that the enemy rule won't be as hard it won't be as harsh if the dogs stay in a place of gratitude 
Right. And I, I hear, I heard the word slide. An honor. It's like whatever trickery, yes. whatever trickery, that's the word, whatever trickery comes through, it's just going to slide off because now you have the companionship of the dragon yes. to go and transform it. Yes. To transmute it, to transform, to alchemize whatever yes. it is that energy so it can stay in the high, in the yes. highest vibration yeah. towards you. Should you be in alignment to receive, to exchange? Yes. And that's just hold on to it. Yes. Yes. Because it needs the flow. It's happening organically. That, 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 that's it. it, it it's just happening organically, but it's up to you. Like, Oh, I'm just going to clog this pathway. Well, then it's not going to come to the other yep. end where it can be transformed and continue its flow. And but it's going to be pushing more and more and more. She, you got a very much more elegant visual that I got kind of like the dog with the bone. Okay. You know, like we don't like to release our bone, yeah, yeah. but we need to respect the dragon enough to realize that that's the dragon's bone. <laughs> so if the dog has that respect and being like, okay, I'm going to chew on this bone because, the, but now the dragon's here. So I got to give him his bone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know what I mean? Well, and not, that, and not bite you for that work, bone. That works. And I was going to say, don't be surprised if your children lately are talking about, because this is what I've been experiencing lately. The last few weeks, my children have been, and I have experienced it were their dragon, their inner dragon, yeah. what is their higher wisdom from within um, it's sleeping with them, but they're dematerialized as like they can physically feel yeah. it. And if your child or you are somewhat energetically sensitive, you can actually feel this add on yeah. energetic feel that is protecting them. And trust me, it is a beautiful guardian and it is going oh, to yeah. manifest yeah. itself in the way that your child can build that trust like my, my my girls dragon they behave like little puppies yeah and they're hilarious but guess what the last time i was smudging the house my oldest dragon came through and he's like no no she needs to go back over here mommy you Fix have it to again and, yeah and, it. And, and, and effectively <laughs> it. and guess what the smudge started crackling really wow and i was like oh my goodness and she and it was actually in the areas where she had been receiving information because she she has the gift and and i was like Thank you. Oh, and that's just, thank you. And so when you have those physical yeah. yeah. moments, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm holding this smudge. And just because I trust my child's expressing me this, I'm like, okay, that just shows me. I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. yeah, we are both in highest alignment. So yeah, no, yeah. no need to go again into that stagnant, fearful yeah. stage. Well, we need to wash out the fear. Talking honestly. about the fear. Like we need I to be ready for encounters now. Yeah. Over Thanksgiving, I was... We had a friend was over and she was talking about her. I think he's like four or five and he's having these, mm -hmm. these nightmares mm -hmm. and he doesn't want to sleep. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, I just don't know what to do. And I, and this kid, he's, he, his, his, his crown chakra is very open. Mm -hmm. You know, his third Which is eye. Which expected. How yes. Old is he? He's four. Yeah. Yep. You that, know, that's what he's is, yes. very open. And so, and you know, like she talks about, you know, like he'll make comments about past lives and that, you know, and I was talking to her and I was like, you know, why don't you have her build a dragon. Mm -hmm, I mean, why don't mm -hmm. you have him build a dragon before he goes to bed mm -hmm. and I talk about it? Yeah. Be like, you know, you got a dragon. So if anything scary shows up in your dream, yeah. do you be like, yo, what's up? This is, this is my bodyguard. Yeah. yeah. You go right? mess with him. Like, here, just like, this is my bodyguard. He takes it out. You know, and I was joking with her. I was, I, and I was like, have you, have you, does your kids, cause my kids were obsessed with how to train a dragon. Mm -hmm. that, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, we the, watch them all. We yep. All and the, the TV series. And, um, and so, and I was like, and I told her, I was like, you know, start having them watch how did you, right. you know go through the series and the mm -hmm. tv series and she was like oh that's a really good idea raya also the, oh the yeah way raya yep. explains all the different elements and all the different skills that they have as well it's but an, we, another good but version we were talking about and and i didn't even think about it till later mm. that next year being the year of the dragons i was telling her i was like you know because i wanted you know you want to introduce do it in a fun way to the yes. kids so they don't go into that fear state they don't have that to Unfortunately, as mm -hmm. adults, we've heard everything. The dragon is all negative, negative, yeah. never great. Uh, it's and but yet when you have your own encounter, you're like, this has nothing to do with me. No, it just has nothing to no. do with me. Yeah. So yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. Katie, can we do a reading, a collective reading? Yeah. Yes. Right. Um, of tarot. Should we do tarot or should, should we? I'll, I'll, I'll go. Okay. I'll go this one. You go that okay. one. Because we're good. Um, okay. So I was telling Katie, Katie, we should we should totally wrap it up with a view collective reading of the energy that is expected for our audience, so they can have a sneak peek of what what is coming ahead. And honestly, it is just summer. Sex. 
Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I pulled two cards. The first card, I went with the intention of um, how the end of this year. What, what was a representation of this year? And I got the devil. And I know this is going to scare people, but this right here, and then what's next year going to be, which is a hierophant. This, oops. me, oops, sorry. This, all of the shackles, oops. this year was all about breaking the shackles to become our highest version of ourselves. And now we get to celebrate <laughs> because the end is celebra oh, celebration and balance and patience and peace. Um next year okay, i can't say they this enough like i i didn't want to get overwhelming so i literally mm -hmm. just did one card for each last year mm -hmm. and then next year and then the bottom of the deck and then i split the deck oh, and gosh. so the shackles are gone everything that was holding you back everything that was binding you um any sort of addiction anything that was like strapping you mm -hmm. is over because you have but you know and this is what i I always say you have to in order and this is something I I've been saying a lot lately to people is that in order for your branches think of yourself as the celestial tree in order for your branches to truly reach up to the celestial you have to be rooted as far deeply into hell as you can because your your branches can go only as high as how deep as your roots go and so that's to me was what the final purge of this year was, was mm -hmm. to really grinding our roots. So now, now we can reach up into the celestial. Absolutely. You know, I mean, now yes. we can reach so high up. Yes. That yes. we are one. Yes. That we yes. are one. Um, and, and with that thought, I was going to ask the last couple of weeks again, the yeah. angelic realm were now being, so you know how we have the angels as the first, like the ground level first support in that order. Then we have the archangels, we have the cherubims, yeah. the, principalities the virtues yeah. and the seraphims yeah now they send us the bad guys but like, and, and i don't mean bad negative it's like big guns above the archangels are yeah. not accessible and they're talking to the children they're talking to the children and they are many yeah they are many i haven't even talked to you yet but the last yeah. few days we've had cher ch cherubins cherubins mm. and seraphims coming through remember the drawing that i was just yeah. showing you yeah they are they're talking to their children because now they are here for that higher information and that guidance, all mm -hmm. the angels, all the elemental angels and different versions that we don't even know about. Yeah. Everybody is here. All spiritual support. It's here they're and here. it's showing themselves. They're showing themselves in yep. their dream states. They're showing themselves of annoyingness. They're showing themselves as whispers They're They, they are present. They've always like, been present, but well, now there's like, when I doubting. told you, when mm -hmm. I mentioned at the beginning that I felt like today was the start of something new. Yes. When I was actually driving my kids to school tomorrow morning, I actually kind of felt like that scene in um in the end game of the Marvel series, yeah. where it's Captain America standing there and he's standing against like all of the bad. Yes. And you can see he's he's like, There's no way in hell I can beat this, but I'm not, I'm gonna go down. I'm yeah. not I'm not gonna right. like there's right. I, I it's gonna kill and me or nothing. And then all of a sudden all those portals started opening up. Yes. But that's actually when I was driving, I kind of had the vision of like all of these portals behind me started opening up and I felt every angel coming in and being like, yes. girl, we got yeah. you. Yeah. We well, got you now. This, in We're the, good. In the last seven weeks, I've had two, three, three encounters with Archangel Gabriel as a masculine and Archangel Gabriel as the feminine energy yeah. and less in the last seven days. So when I say all, they're all here, all here. Present. Because it is time to celebrate and balance. And I just want to pull the next two cards to show what was under these two. We have the star and then we have the happiest card in the tarot, which is the sun. This is what's coming. I don't, I can't, yes. there we go. Yes. This is what's and here, coming. So from, from Katie's Oracle deck, this one, uh, for this year, this is the past is a protection. And this is the Norse okay. sign of protection. This is what we were doing. We were being protected from ourselves, from, re from blocking yeah. away any hesitation to receive so whatever it was showing in your life, you might feel, oh my goodness, I was not moving forward. I'm putting so much effort. We've had this conversation in the past. Those tower, you were being protected. Yeah. You were being protected so that you don't step back. Mm -hmm. So that you, with the proper protection, you can actually be ready for what? Earth. Earth, the manifestation. Is that 11 too? Yes. It's number yes. 11. It's number 11, zero one. Here, protection as a zero one and eleven. I don't even know if it's translating correctly, but okay, yep. zero one one yep. one. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then we have the water. 
So get ready. It is going to be extremely emotional in the positive way. In the best way because yes. uh, 18, that's card number 18, but one plus eight is nine and nine is completion. And you, the last step is the emotional release, yes. right? And, the and that's water. water. The blue light that I was just telling See? you right now. Yep, and the blue light. So like... The Lemurian um, energy. The Lemo that is the Lemurian <laughs> energy coming through strong. It is. So, And then the so next cool. one was guides. Yes, so the next one was guides. Then again, divine feminine, which divine we're seeing feminine. the shift from, from the toxic patriarchy. By no means am I offending the sacred masculine. What I'm talking no. is about... The this harmonious representation that was done through the patriarchy, we're now bringing in the empowered divine feminine with the divine feminine being paired with her divine masculine yeah. as one. And this is the shift. The shift. shift. It's happening. It's happening. Look, this, 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 this doesn't look very similar to the, to the, the infinity, infinity sign, sign or the number eight. Oh, the number and eight. And also the number eight, I just want to add real quick to also show how properly balanced which we got with the temperance card mm -hmm. is when you take an eight and whether you cut it horizontally or horizontal or vertically it represents mm -hmm. it's, it's an it's a perfectly balanced and it mirrors however you cut it whether left to right or up to down it mirrors I'm the hoping. other side perfectly <laughs> i know we always say that our guides are always giving us a confirmation when yes. we when we burp a lot. So you'll probably see that over next year. Oh gosh, yes. You're going to see the <laughs> other side, like the no makeup yes. and we're just getting this yeah, true. You know. <laughs> uh, I, you know, but we are in the age of Aquarius now and the age yes. of Aquarius is all about curiosity and authenticity. So this is as real as it gets. This is, this is us. This is us. We this hope you us. like it and we yes. hope you stay around for season two. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you Katie. Thank you so much for everybody who stayed around. We love you dearly and we are so grateful for every single one of you. Stay in touch. Bye-bye.